When it comes to electronic music, drummers are often confronted with the task of reproducing programmed drum sounds. One of the most interesting musical genres of this kind is drum and bass. When drum and bass evolved from jungle music, the famous breakbeats were already there. The rhythms used in this genre are usually based on older funk tracks. By using sections of the song where only the drums are playing, producers were able to come up with their own variations. By cutting the grooves and looping the phrases, they could end up with completely new ideas. One of the most used breakbeats is the Amen Break, taken from the song Amen Brother. We tried to recreate the sound of the original recording by using a closed bass drum Rizzo head for more tone and a rather open tuned snare drum. When it comes to miking, room mics were used primarily, as well as closed mics, to slightly support the bass drum and snare sound. The cymbal sound was rather short and attacky, so we decided to tape the cymbal for that. The next step for jungle producers was taking breakbeats and accelerating them. The resulting effect was all the sounds being pitched up. When drummers tried to recreate these sounds, they had to tune up their drums as well. Also, the tone of the drums gets shorter when speeding up the recordings. So we tried to tune the drums accordingly and shorten the tone. We also had to use a different cymbal to get a higher tone. As drum and bass music evolved further, electronic sounds replaced the break beats. By programming beats and coming up with more synthetic sounds, drummers were facing new difficulties reproducing those sounds on an acoustic kit. A common trick among drum and bass drummers is flipping the snare for a shorter, harsher sound. We also installed a batter head on the snare side for more durability and removed the batter side drum head completely. The second typical drum and bass snare sound is a lower, fat sound. We used a 10 inch snare for that, since smaller drums give you more tone when tuned that way. Another change that we made was cutting a hole in the bass drum rizzo head. With more attack and muffling, we ended up with a shorter, more electronic sound and kick sound. This is what breakbeat oriented playing sounds like on that kit. Many different drummers have come up with several sounds and ideas. While electronic drum sets have helped a lot in this genre, it's amazing to see what you can come up with using only acoustic drums. Do you have your own signature sounds for that kind of music? Make sure to let us know down in the comments and keep on searching for new sounds.